as of today, I am doing the Project 10 Pan Makeup Challenge thingy. Okay, just a few things first. I'm sorry about the lighting, it's like really dark and I have have uh, I have had to move myself over from where my light is because, and this is the second thing, I have a new camera and the only thing that's annoying is it doesn't have a viewfinder so I've had to like get it to a place where I can have a mirror behind it but higher up so I can actually see if I'm in shot. But yeah, until I sort out a place where... I can see it perfectly and it's near the light. It's gonna have to be in here or in my bathroom or some other place of the house. But yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, back to the themed YouTube video of today. Yes, I am finally doing the Project 10 Pan Makeup Challenge, also known as the Makeup Diet. I've been wanting to do this for a really long while, but I couldn't really do it without exactly knowing what I was doing because I was a bit confused at first, but I think I have a much clearer idea on what it's about now. Um, so for those of you who don't understand and need like proper introduction to what it is, it's basically where you choose 10 beauty related products um, and you focus on those products for like until you finish the whole of them, not just hitting pan but just completely finish using the whole of the product out and you must do that before you can buy your next beauty, beauty related product so it's it's a really good thing to do because like it saves your it saves money and stuff like that um i've been wanting to do it because recently i've had to throw a load of makeup out just because i've just had too much of it and where i haven't used it and kind of neglected it and forgotten about it it's just like grown old and pretty much gone off so i had to get rid of loads i'm thinking all that money just thrown in the bin so this will you know keep me focused on just using the stuff I have and also like it will stop me from needlessly buying because I know many of you out there do it you just buy things even if you've got like the same thing at home or if you've got something similar you're just like oh that looks pretty I'll just get it and you don't really think so it's kind of focus you in focuses you in on you know only buying stuff after you've finished what you've got so you don't go around buying copies of something or you don't just, you know, splurge your money. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into the video properly now. I will be showing you guys what I am planning to use up in this challenge. <laughs> okay, they're in this box thingy. I'm going to try and hold them up in the order I would put them on, but it's probably going to go a little pear shape by the end of this video. Okay, so the first thing here, and again, sorry for the lighting, I don't even know if you'll be able to see that, the writing or anything properly. But, um, first thing is a lip cream, and it's one of Avon's Dry SOS, Dry Skin SOS ones. <laughs> I have a feeling that that is going to be the first thing I finish, because, you know, it's very, very, very used. I'm probably going to have to, like, cut open the top or something to get the, um, product out. But yeah, that'll probably be the first product. <laughs> Next is Oon, I think you pronounce it as that, I think it's a French brand or something, Oon Natural Beauty and it's Healthy Glow Enhancer, so it's basically like a tinted moisturiser. My colour is in, I'm not, I, I never know how to read this, is it H06 or 90H? Because if you do it that, it's, H, it's 90H, but if you flip it that way, it's H06, but I don't know, but it's a dark one. I like it. Okay, next I have um, 17's Even Tone Corrector Stick. It's a green one, so it's like, you know, focuses on the red areas of your face and green cancels out red, so that's what it's there for. Oh yeah, art student. What? What? Anyone know that? Yeah. Next, the label has rubbed off of this, but I do believe it's Collection 2000's, um, like, just regular uh, concealer sort of I think it's called a doe foot or whatever doe foot brush thingy it's in deep number four but yeah collection 2000 or whatever they've changed I don't know if they've changed their name from that to that or I don't really know but you know what I'm talking about hopefully I next have number seven stay perfect smoothing and brightening eye base 
the reason this is in my um, Project 10 Pan challenge thingy is because I don't like it and if I, if I don't use it up in this thing I'm not going to use it up at all and I don't really want to throw it away because it does, you know, cost a bit of money. Not a lot, but still, you know, you don't really want to be throwing things away. But yeah, I just don't like it. I don't feel like it actually works as a good base. It just, oh, I don't, eh, don't get it. Well, you can get it if you want, but I don't like it. It doesn't work for me. Next I have this a Quick Pen by Avon and it's Modern Cream Eyeshadow. I have a feeling this is disconnected. I mean, it used to be in my mum's and uh, it's just been there for ages. But you basically, you twist this little part and it sort of squirts out at the top. <laughs> and yeah, you sort, it's like a soft little brush thingy. Doe foot again, I think. Doe foot applicator. I think that's, if I'm saying this completely wrong, I'm going to sound like a right bloody prick. Anyway, um, so that's this one. I just want to get it used up. I really like it, so I'm going to try and find like a... Um, a dupe thingy for this but I'm just gonna get this used up because it's my laptop is slowly going to sleep. Um I'm just gonna get this used up because it is getting old and you know it's gonna go out of date soon. But yeah. Or well, it's probably gone out of date. I don't really know but I like it. I'm gonna use it now before it goes even more out of date. Now this is like unbranded eyeshadow so I probably just got it from like a clothes shop or something like that. But it just says eyeshadow on it. And it's really nice, um, kind of neutral bronzy colours. It's got like a very dark coppery bronze, like it's almost red when you put it on. Um, here it's got like a golden yellowy toned one. Um, underneath it's like a lighter version of the top colour here. And here is more of a white shimmery colour that I'd use for like a highlighter or something. And it's really nice, it's quite natural, so I can get away with this at school, even though it's, it looks very, you're not going to pick it up on the camera now, but you, you can't see it very well, but it's very glittery. But I, I've been wearing this to school for like months, and I, nobody said anything, so, except for when I used the red coppery colour underneath my um, bottom waterline, people were like, you have like red under your eyes, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? But yeah, nobody's like, no teachers or anything have told me off, so it seems to be cool. <laughs> Next I have OPR eyeliner pencil. That was really, that was said really badly, sorry. OPR eyeliner pencil in black. <laughs> I think it's by like Primark or something, another one of those unbranded thingies from like a clothes shop or something. But I'm in the situation where I've got like loads of them, so I'm just, you know, using them up before I go out and needlessly buy more. So, second to last I have... Oh! Dropped it on my lap! Okay. Second to last I have Seventeen's Liquid Eyeliner. Um, it's just, you know, it's just black. It says creamy smudge proof liner to emphasise the eyes and then it tells you how to apply it if you don't know how to apply it. Um, really thin brush so it's um, very precise. Very precise. I don't even know if you saw that. Mm. And lastly, I have my natural collection, who brand I love because they're just so affordable and their products are really good. Um, natural collection lip liner in cinnamon. Um, apart from this product, I am pretty much using I, on my face. I pretty much have everything. Oops. On my face, I pretty much have like everything. That I've just shown you, except for the lip liner, because I've been out all day. So where I've eaten and like drank, drinking, drank, drank, I had drinks. <laughs> um, where I've eaten and had drinks, it's like worn off, and I just can't really be bothered. I'm one of those people that can't bother to just keep applying because it's going to get worn off anyway. But yeah, I like wearing lip products anyway. But yeah, I did have this on, have this on this morning. It is not on my mouth now. Okay, so the way I'm going to be doing this, I don't know if this is like how everyone does it, but I, I saw a YouTuber doing this, so I can't remember her name, so I'm just going to steal her idea. But basically, I've written down Project 10 Pound, and I've written a list of 1 to 10, so that's basically to symbolise the 10 products I have. And I've written also product and date, so every time I finish a product, going to write them in one of the numbers, whichever number, so if it's the first product, 
say I've used a lip balm, I will write what the lip balm's called and the date I've used it. And how I'm going to update you guys is probably a two weekly thing. So every two weeks I will do a video specific for the Project 10 Pam and I will say how I'm going with it, what's going on, if I've quit, oh, I don't know. Um, and also if there's any products I've finished between the space of then and the next time I do the update or whatever and I've written it down and everything I'll tell you what I finished maybe do a mini review on that product or those products um, and then at the end I'll do like a big kind of collection thing of this is it, I've done it, how I felt the whole process, the whole challenge when if I do it again, if I do, when will I do it again um, and then sort of a collected review um, maybe in more detail or just like a brief quick sort of summary review of all the products that I've used so yeah I think that is it if you like the new camera quality obviously sorry ignoring the darkness of my room at the moment but if you're liking the quality itself of the camera then um, say so and by the way this is the Nikon Coolpix um, camera yeah so yeah this is it for the video really have a good morning afternoon evening goodbye